All week, Focus reporter Paula Vazan has been investigating the impact of coronavirus on businesses in our area, from restaurants to dental offices. She headed to Echo Salon in Middletown to speak with the owner, who says coronavirus may force her to leave an industry she loves. In an empty salon, owner Mandy Canarium reflects on happier times, back when it looked more like this. It's always light and airy and fun. Not since 5 p.m. on Wednesday. That's when Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir ordered salons and other businesses to shut their doors to combat coronavirus. And that's pretty much all we've heard at this point. She says she had just bought $6,000 in hair products that will now go to waste. There's nothing we can do with it. This entrepreneur, wife and mother of three, doesn't know how she'll even pay the mortgage for this place she created 11 years ago. Usually these chairs are completely full. So it's a long and far-reaching effect all over the place. Bruce Gadansky with Louisville's Better Business Bureau says companies of all sizes are suffering, grouping salons into the industry of personal services. He says it's among those hardest hit by coronavirus. We've got issues like with entertainment business, uh, the movies are closed, there's no plays going on, there's nothing. Canarium says she gets strength from her clients who tell her, I'm thinking of you. And from her faith. We don't know what's going to happen. The owner of this salon tells me without being able to work here, she could last a maximum of three months before having to close for good. She says she'd probably have to leave the industry entirely. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan. Also today here, a